Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 3 of this SS Arabic tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the ship's funnels, stern deck house, probably the forecastle details as well, and then anything else I can think of along the way. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do first then is focus on that stern deck house. I was going to do that in part 2, but I thought, mm, yeah, we'll save it for part 3, otherwise we'll have too much done before the end. So yeah, so we're going to go to the back of the ship. Right to the back end and just do, if you look on the prototype, we've got that little deck house there inside the deck, uh, inside the crosshairs there, so that's what we want to do. So go, up, go right to the back of the ship and on the wood, so here's the back end on the centre, on the wood you're going to count forward to the twelfth block, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then put our red block to mark the centre, like so, and then you're going to build this wall five wide, so that's two either side like that and then out to the side you want to go out two two and two same the other side two damn it two 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 like that so you got a v-shape like that and then forward of that you want to go forward four so one two three four and then forward five rows of six so one two three four five six 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 so I'll just check that that's forward four wouldn't it and then one two three four five rows of six yeah so I'll quickly do the same the other side so it's one two three four and then one two three four five six 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 there we go like that and then you want to go inwards nine each side so one two three four five six seven eight nine plus the center same the other side one two three four five six seven eight nine there we go so that's our wall foundation done like that and then you just increase those to three high all the way around so i'll do a little bit and then i'll do some well editing otherwise i'll be here all day so I just do like i'm showing you and then while well, I edit the rest, I think. I'll do the first few rows, why not? I think what I'll do, I'll do one side and then I'll copy it across, otherwise while well, editing this is a bit awkward, so yeah, I'll just do one side freehand and then I'll copy it across. Does make life a little bit easier. There we go, there's one side done, so like, well, like I say, <coughs> excuse me, I just copy it to the other side and then everything will work out fine in theory. So I quickly copy, flip to the right, and then paste. And there we go, there's our walls increased in height, so that's now three blocks high all the way around. And then if you're familiar with the build, then we can start adding the doors. So I get our doors and windows, so I put our first pair of doors on the side there like so and then we'll put our windows, and I think I just put windows all the way around now, so there's a window 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 and then just keep doing this all the way till you get to the back really and then leave a space there and then just put a pair of windows on the back like so. So yeah, let's, it's familiar, it's, if you're familiar with what I do, it's just a pair of doors and then a window every two, every third block really. So I've done one side, i just do the front wall as well, get these windows done. Up to the centre and then all the way across me as well. And there we go, there's one side and the front wall's done. So what I'll do now, I shall quickly copy that to the other side. Get those doors and windows out of the way. So once again, copy, flip, and then paste. And there's the doors and windows on both sides done. Marvelous. So what we should do now, we should go to the front wall of the deck house, this front wall here. And what we'll do, we shall add two blocks of wood on the top, top center, on the top there. I just get my wood blocks and so I put them away. So top centre here, we're going to add two wood blocks, so one and two like that, plus a red block in the centre like that. So this creates an overhang for the deck house. So it's two blocks of wood and one forward like that, and then you want to build outwards with white, 
uh, out 15 each side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That goes right to the edge of the ship. Same the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Like that. So that's 31 wide in total there. And then for the sides, we want to build back and around the back of the ship. We want uh, back three. One, two, three. And this is on the right hand side. So back three like that. And then we want seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, 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 six. Like that. And then we want five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four, one, two, three, four, and then two, one, two, like that. And then inward six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a center, like that. And there we go, that's one side done. So it creates the overhang, sort of an open promenade area, similar to what we've done on the main superstructure over there. So there will be pillars to attach that. So I just did the other side quickly as well. So it's, what was it? It was back uh, three, so one, two, three, and then seven, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then four rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, 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 six. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. And four. One, two, three, four. And then two. One, two. And then inward six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So that's the overhang done like so. And then what you do then is to add the deck. And then the deck will sit inside. Those walls were just built, those foundations going around like so. And the walls will also, or the deck will also sit on top of the inside walls that we just built here, which are three high. So the decks will sit inside like that. So what you do then is just fill in this whole area with the deck. And I shall use the fill tool to do that. So fill wood by 200. And that fills in the whole area like so. And then the deck should look something like that. Marvellous. Not brilliant, not perfect, but it will do. You can see you got the overhang going like there, so that's similar to what the rest of the ship looks like. So there we are. So what we'll do now, we'll get our pillars, which are what did I use? Oh, end rods. So we use end rods. These things, and then going from the front corner of the overhang, we will add a pillar there, and then every fourth block will add another pillar. So one, two, three, four, add a pillar. One, two, three, four, add a pillar. Basically, just keep going down the side until you get to where the overhang ends. So, one, two, three, four, pillar. 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 <coughs> one, two, three, four, pillar. And then that's it. Don't need to go no further. So I don't know how many pillars that is. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pillars, I think. So I can quickly do the other side as well, really. So that's one, two, three, I think that's 10 pillars there, yep, that's fine. And it should look something like that. It's hard to see because of the angles and things, but it don't look too bad. So that's the first part of the deck done. So what we need to do now is to build a wall around the entire outside of it, because this is going to be a, a full wall rather than handrails. So go from the centre, we we'll just add another wall all the way around, basically doubling the deck in height. Well, not the deck, but just the, the outside edge. Build it all the way around. All the way back to front, side to side, whichever way you want to go. And then up the other side as well. the wall added there. So like I was saying that, that wall on the top here will now support pillars for the next deck. So that's that. So what we'll do now, we'll go to the, the front wall of the deck house we just built. And I'll just get my uh, notes ready because I'm trying to read this in one eye and do something in the other eye. So 
what we'll do now we'll go to the sixth block back uh, on the wood so front center again on the top deck goes six six blocks back on the wood so one two three four five six and put our center block again and then you're going to build this wall 15 wide so that's seven each side so one two three four five six seven that way one two three four five six seven that way and then we want the side walls to going forward or going back rather 11 so uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and then curving inward slightly we want 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 again 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then 4 1 2 3 4 like that and then do the same the other side so it's back 11 wouldn't it so 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 just look at the prototype and then it was what was it six six wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and four, one, two, three, four. And then across the back. Uh, might as well put a centre block as well. So there we go, there's our walls done like that. And then you increase them to three high all the way around. So I shall do this quickly as well. Like I say, I'll just do the one side. I think what I'll do, I'll do one side, then I'll add the doors or windows, then copy it across, just to save a little bit of jiggery pokery. So let's quickly do the one side up to the centre blocks. Like I say, so there's one side done, and then for the sides, we'll put a pair of doors first, like so, and then windows, every other block or every third block, if you like. about three windows across the back like that and then the front wall probably do the same up to the center at least one window two windows and then one on the center so there we go there's one side of the walls done so what I'll do now once again I shall copy them to the other side that's why I use the center box just makes everything easier for when I'm copying or laying foundations and things so I just quickly copy flip and then paste and there we go that's both sides done so now we have all the walls and doors and windows in place looking good so now what we shall do now is to do what we did previously go to the front wall and the top block here on top of the on top of the white on top of the uh, top of the walls and we want to add two blocks of wood so one and then one forward plus a red block and then we want to build out 14, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Same the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then the side we want back 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 3 rows of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then three, one, two, three. And then two rows of two, one, two, one, two. And then inward six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And center block, like that. And then we do the same the other side. So that was uh, from the front, we go back five, one, two, three, four, five. And then three rows of six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five, one, two, three, four, five. Three, one, two, th two, three, and then two, two, one, two, one, two, and then in six, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. <coughs> That's that done. And then what we should do then is, like we did the previous deck, add the deck inside of the area we just built, and the deck will sit on top of the inside walls again, which is good. In theory, anyway. And then what I shall sh what I shall do is use the fill tool again. So I should just fill in this whole area with wood. There we go. Deck all done. And it should look something like that. So now we've got a two-story deck with uh, the overhangs and things done. And then once again we'll add the pillars. So we should go from the front corner of the overhang, add our first pillar, and then every fourth block add more pillars. So that's two pillars, three pillars four pillars and if you notice the pillars are directly above the ones below it which is good 
So the pillar below, pillar above. So that's four pillars, five pillars, six pillars, and seven pillars. That's all we need, seven pillars. So there we are, that's done that side. And then I should do the other side. So seven pillars again from the front corner of the top. That's one pillar, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There we go, seven pillars in place. Not looking too bad. So that's the deck house pretty much done in terms of structure. Um, now all I need to do is add three big vents on the top. There will be more detail later on, but that will be lifeboats and things. So the lifeboats will go on in part four. Um, so we shall just do the vents today. So what we'll do, we'll add two, three big vents. We'll add two big ones first. So from the front of the top deck, we should go back to the eighth black, eighth back on the wood. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like so, and then out uh, four. One, two, three, four, and put a centre block for your cross, and then change it into a cross. So X marks the spot. Same the other side. Fourth block out. One, two, three, four. X marks the spot, and remove the centre block. And then go back to the front wall again. And then we want to go back to the 22nd block back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Centre block and then X marks the spot like so. There you go, there's your X. So there's three vents like so. And then we want to build those up to four high. So 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, plus 2 in the middle, up 2, and then stairs, 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 and stairs on top, and then on the front, 2 blocks forward, 2 blocks forward, 2 blocks forward, and 1, and then the stairs, as shown, <coughs> and that's, that's one vent done, I'll do the second one, and then I'll just copy the third one, so 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, two, three, four. 2, 3, 4, plus 2 in the middle, and then stairs, 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 block, 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 stairs, 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 and stairs, stairs, there we go, so that's three, uh, two vents done, I'll just do the third one by copying it, like so, just quickly copy that, then paste it to the fourth, uh, the third one, save doing it all again and there we go there's our three vents and the ship should look something like that like I said there will be more detail to go on like the lifeboats but we'll worry about that in part four um, right now I'm gonna do another jump cut because our ship's looking pretty good I should do a jump cut while I work out what I'm doing next and then we should move on so uh, back in a moment Okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is to move on to the ship's funnel. So we're going to go to the back of the ship's wheelhouse. So the wheelhouse just here. I'm going to go right to the back, well, behind it really. So behind the wheelhouse here, down to the centre block on the wood. And using yellow, we're going to use yellow terracotta for the funnels. And we're going to count back to the 14th block back on the wood. So 1, 2, hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to put our first funnel here. So I've got it three wide, like so. And then we want out two, two, like that. Do the same on the other side. Out two, two. And then back two, one, two. Back three, one, two, three. And then curving inwards, we want three, one, two, three. And then two, 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 two. Same on the other side. Back two, back three back three two two and then one in the middle again and there's the diameter or the cement the circle part bottom part of the first funnel and then what you want to do then to, to be uh, to build the second one you want to count back from the first funnel the back wall and you want to count back 23 so uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three do the same again. Is it 23? No, 24th block back. So that's 23 and then 24 there. So 24 back to the same design. 3 wide plus 2 out, 2 out, 2 back. 
See him the other side. Two out, two out, two back. And then three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, two, two. Three, one, two, three, three, two, two, and one in the middle. There we go. So there's the two funnel placements there. And it should look something like that. Marvellous. So now what we're going to do now, go to the front of the first funnel, and we're going to build a design straight up. Well, almost straight up. It's going to be into two phases. A bit of yellow and a bit of black. So I'm just going to move my blocks around. So I'll do the yellow part first. Go from the centre. Let's do the first part. So build the yellow up uh, nine. So so it's already one block high. So it'll be ten in total. So it's one already. Build it to ten. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then behind that, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then three. One, two, three. And then on top of that, in black, up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So that's the f design that we want. So it's, so it's 10 in total, 10 in total, 3, plus 7 black on top. So that's the design you want. And then you're going to want to build that that same design on the blocks that I'm going to show you. So build them on this block there, there, and there. Same design on those three. And then on the front of that one. And then on the back there. And then around there, there, and across the back as well. So do that same design on all those blocks i just shown and also on the other side as well but I'm just going to work on one side so I shall do that same design now and hopefully I'll be able to do this quick enough so that people don't fall asleep That's the first few done, just going on to the outside edge now. So just make sure it's all the same stitch. There will be cut down slightly for when we do the slants, but everything should work out fine. So that's half the funnel, or a quarter of the funnel done. Let's do the same on the back row again. I would normally just copy and paste, but I want to try and do as much as I can freehand. So now we're under the last few. count them sometimes in the next row and then across the back as well so I do two rows at a time so I can see I'm just doing one side of the funnel first so I'm treating it like the ship's hull at the moment. So there we go, there's one side of the funnel done. You will have gaps in between, but that's fine. So I'll copy it across in a minute, but what I'll do, I'll do the fill in the gaps first. So I go on the inside, like with the ship's hull, and just fill in the gaps as shown. It just makes life a bit easier. And then what we'll do, we'll add the, the uh, slant and things. I'll do all the yellow bits first. There's one half of the funnel done, and it should look something like that, kind of like a slightly wonky cylinder. So I shall quickly copy that to the other side now. I apologise if I'm going a bit fast, but it is only a basic shaped funnel. And if some people will complain, it's not detailed enough. I am in the realms of not really caring. And there we go. There's the funnel done both sides now, and it should look something like that. So we've got the, the tilt already, so we just need to do the slant of the top of the funnel. So what we'll do, go, go look at the funnel side on like that. So you get the side of the funnel, and we'll go to the top. And what we need to do, go to the top front, so here's the front of the top of the funnel, and we're going to count back to the seventh block. So go one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block, we remove one. So one, remove five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then do the same on the other side. So count back to the seventh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and remove five. One, two, three, four, five. Plus the center. There we go. So there's the top 
slant done. You can see it just cuts out a little groove. And then we do the same on the black below. So for the top of the yellow, let's side on again, count back to the seventh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And from the seventh, we replace the yellow with black. So replace five. So one, two, three, four, five. And there we go, there's the basic slant done. And then just do the same on the other side. So count back, what was it, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and replace five. One, two, three, four, five, and the center, like that. And there we go, there's funnel number one structure done. And you just want to do the same with funnel number two, it's actually the same design. And it shouldn't look too bad. So that's the base of the or main, main structure of the funnel. So what we'll just do now, just add some detail. So from the bottom of the yellow to the top of the yellow, we're just going to add a line of black blocks on the front, like so. And then if we get a ladder, where's our ladder? Ladder? Where's the ladder? Ladder? Oh, there it is. Here's our ladder. Put a ladder on the front of the funnel. Like so. Like that. And then at the top, we'll add a pair of whistles. We'll put we shall use cobblestone wall because that's all I have. I put a twin whistle like that. Marvellous. So that's funnel number one done. And then all you need to do then is just copy that same design to funnel number two. Maybe minus the funnel, uh, minus the whistles rather, and then you should be uh, done. So hopefully everything will work out fine. So the ship will eventually look like that um, with two funnels. Yeah. So what I should do now, I should do a jump cut while I sort that out. And then we can move on. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's both funnels in place, and the ship should, in theory, look something like this. So both funnels exactly the same, minus the whistle. So that's that job done. A quick look around, make sure I have done it right. Because yeah, it looks fine. So yeah, they're all in place. That job done there. So what we're going to do now, what we shall do, is move to the ship's forecastle, which is the front bow section down here. And we shall go and do some detailing bits. And I just realised there's some holes in the deck. Why is that? I shall fix those. Yeah, I think that's when I was filling the decks in. It didn't <laughs> fill in properly. Anyway, that's that done. Right, so now we're going to go down to the forecastle and start building the proper bits. So we'll go down to the front wall of the superstructure here. And we're going to go and add the cranes. There's two cranes, one on each side of the ship. On the deck, sorry, and then we're going to go to the front center block. I'm going to count forward three, so we use our measuring block. So we're going to count forward three one, two, three to that one, and then we're going to count out ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And on the tenth block, we build out three. So one, two, three, and do the same on the other side. So it's out ten. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 and build one two three so there's your crane bases and you're going to increase these cranes up to nine blocks so two three four five six seven eight nine and build a three wide like so so nine high three wide like that and then on the back we add a strip across the top like that and then a central pillar sort of a spine down the back like so and there's our first crane body like that and then for the crane arm we should use court slabs so that so on the quartz part we want to go to the we build the arm of the crane, we go up to the third block up, so one, two, three up along the top block like so we put our first slab. And you want to build two lines of these. We'll do the outside line first. We want five forwards, so that's one already, two, three, four, five. And then on top of that we want four. One, two, three, four. And then on top of that, two. One, two like that. Do the same on the other one, on the other side, so it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, like that. So you've got two strips like that. And then join them together in the middle. So then count that as one. And you want to make it five. So that's one already, two, three, four, five, like that. So there's your crane arm, like so. And that's one crane done. I'll just do the other side as well. So build it up to nine. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and then across the back and then down the center spine like so 
and then the crane arm third up top top of the third block forward five one two three four five four one two three three four and then two one two same again one two three four five one two three four one two center one two three four five and there we go there's our cranes done <laughs> don't look too bad do they all right now we go back to the center block again center front block and we're going to add a cargo hatch so we're going to count forward uh where is it forward five from the front so one two three four five uh six blocks sorry so six blocks six there and build our hatch the hatch is 15 wide so that's seven each side so one two three four five six seven and one two three four five six seven it's quite a big hatch this one actually yeah, so it's seven wide, uh, fifteen wide, and then sides are eight, so eight forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it goes up a lip, as you can see there. Same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then across the front, like so. So you can see the hatch goes over a lip like that. So the walls that are on the on the deck below build that to two blocks high, like so. So it's even all the way around like so and then we'll add our center spine like so and then each side of that you just add slab to cover the hatch up like so so that's one side done let's do the other side quickly Something then, and there we go. There's our hatch done, like so. There we are, hatch done. Right, so after the hatch, we're going to add a mech. So we're going to go two blocks forward of the hatch. So one, two blocks forward, and then we're going to add five rows of two black blocks. So build two forward like that, and then you want two each side of that. So another strip, two, and another strip, two like that. Same the other side, one, two, one, two. So you have five strips of black like that, kind of looks like piano keys, and then join them together along the top. Like so, and there you go. There's your mech like that. All, all this is is it represents the machinery that attaches the cabling to the mast and the cranes and things. So that's what that's all about. So when you've got cranes and masts and things, it helps. If you know what I mean. Right. So that's the mech's done. Go to the center block of the mech, and what we're going to do then is go forward from that to add a couple of vents, and we're going to go to the eleventh block forward. So from the center of the mech, go eleven forward. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and add a center block. And then we're going to go out six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the sixth block, put your center of the of the vent, and then put the, the X around it. So you've got X marks the spot. Same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. X marks the spot. And can remove the center block. And there we go, so there's where your vents will go. And these vents are going to be five high. And this time they're going to be facing backwards towards the ship, or towards the superstructure. So build them five high. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Plus two up. And then stairs, 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 stairs. Facing backwards. Two back, two back, two back. One. And then the stairs, like so. We go there's one vent and let's do the same on the other side two three four five two three four five two three four five two three four five plus two and then the stereos or stereoses two blocks two blocks two blocks and one and then the stair stairs stair stairs stair stairs stair stairs there we go so there's our vents done like that right now we're going to go back to the center block of the vents which I deleted which is a bit of a pain so put the center block back <laughs> like that and then what we're going to do is from that center block we're going to go three blocks forward of that so one two three forward and put our center block for a deck house so I don't want to use red for that so I get my red concrete I don't know why I threw it away but there we go 
So red concrete for our deck house. So yeah, you've got the centre block between the two vents. Just go three forward of that for your deck house. And this deck house will support the mast. So this deck house is 11 wide. So five each side. One, two, three, four, five that way. One, two, three, four, five that way. That's 11 wide. And then the sides are uh, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then across the front, like so. So it's basically a square. And then you increase that to four blocks high, so four high all the way around. There we go, so I'll, build, I'll use world edit for this bit just to build them up quickly. So I want four high all the way around. And everything should work out fine. And there we go. So that's that bit done. And then the top is basically just wood decking, which I keep putting away. So the whole top is wood like so. So, so I just fill that in like so. Don't know why I'm doing it freehand, but I could just world edit it. But as I've started, I may as well finish it. So there is our deck house. Now on top of the deck house is where the mast will go. So the mast is uh, it was on the centre block roughly. How, where is the centre? So it's the wood is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So fourth block forward or fourth block forward of the end or fourth block back, whichever. So one, two, three, four. Put the centre of the mast like so, and then build across around it. So once again, it's X marks the spot on the very centre of the deck house. And then the mast itself from the front block is to be 20 high. So that's two, uh, one already, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. <gasps> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty like so and then about five or six down from the top build out four one two three four plus the black block one two three four plus the black block like so and then down about another five or six build out six one two three four five six plus the black block one two three four five six plus the black block and there we go people do ask me if this is accurate no I just do my own designs but there we go. So that's the mast tops done. So what you want to do now, just go to the back of the mast and build vertically straight up until you can't go vertical no more. To there like so. And then the sides of the mast, build them up again to the tops of the bottom section. Like so, so 20 high. Same on the other one, 20 high. There we go. There's our mast done. So now we just need to add the crane parts of the mast. So we're going to go to the... If we look at it front on of the mast, and we're going to go to the fifth block up. So one, two, three, four, five. And each side put a block and put a block. And the same on the back, put a block and put a block. So there's where our mast crane arms will go. And you're going to build these forward. The forward ones on the front of the mast, you're going to build those ones 25 long. So that's one already. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And make that a black block there. Same again, parallel to that, 25 again. And, oop, and there we go. So that's our mast done like that. All our mast cranes. And then on the back of the mast from those blocks again, you're going to build back five rows of seven so these ones are going to tilt upwards so we've got five rows of seven so that's one already two three four five six seven and then one two three four five six seven and then one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven and one two three four five six seven so it's seven rows of five plus the black block same again on the other side parallel to that the same design again and then black block again there we go so that is the crane 
and the mast done like so. You can if you want to have both sides either going 25 long straight or have them have the front coming up seven seven rows of five or five rows of seven, whichever you want to do. Um, yeah, that's that's fine how you want to do it. So that's the front. That's half of the focal area done. So what I'm going to do, I should do another jump cut when I work out my next uh, next part to do, which is the other half of the focal, and then we should move on. So uh, back in a moment. Right, okay, back again. So what we're going to do now is to add two more vents to the front of the uh, deck house that supports the mast. So we're going to go to the front of the uh, front of the deck house and go five forward. So one, two, three, four, five, and I'll put a centre block there. And then we're going to count out uh, nine to the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. X marks the spot and. Build our cross and same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. X marks the spot. Like so, and then remove the center block there. And these vents are the same height, so five high, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, plus two. And facing back, stairs, 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 stairs. Two back, two back, two back, one. And then uh, stairs, stairs. Stairs and stairs, and that's one vent. Same the other side. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Plus two. Stairs, 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 stairs. Blocks, blocks, blocks. One. Stairs, 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 stairs. Stairs, 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 stairs. There we go. That's our two vents done. So bear with me while I check my notes. Right, so that's the vent done. So now we need to add a mech, which will go back to the to the deck house, and we're going to count forward 14 blocks. So from the centre, go. I think that's the centre, and yeah, I'll put a marker there so I know it's the centre. So we're going to go 14 blocks forward of the deck house. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and we want two rows of black each side of that 14th block like so and then join them together plus one over the side like so that's it tiny mech like that and then uh, we're going to add a breakwater which will go two blocks three blocks forward of the mech so one two three we'll put our breakwater there now the breakwater is what channels the water off the side of the ship and it should be 11 wide so that's one in the middle plus one two three four five that way one, two, three, four, five that way. Like so, and then that'd be three high, so two and then three high. Like so. And then you're gonna build diagonally out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like so. Same the other side. Diagonally out. One one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. And then the first three blocks of the eight build to two high one two three and then that'll be it really you can use slabs to make the the, the slant more precise but I'm just going to do it rough for now and I'll same on the other side one two three like that and there we go there's our breakwater like so and then after the breakwater there's going to be a hatch so leave a block gap between the breakwater and then we're going to leave a build a hatch which is uh, nine wide, so one in the middle plus one, two, three, four that way, one, two, three, four that way. The sides are six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then across the front, and then a central spine, and then using your court slabs again, build the cover like so. Right, one side done, and then the other side like so. There we go, hatch done. Now we're going to add the co uh, anchor chains, which are going to be uh, one block gap again. So leave a gap plus uh, build a leave a gap, then build on the next one, which we're going to build a big E, uh, a big E which is black. So build it five wide. Like that, and then add but 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 for a biggie. You can't go wrong with a biggie. Now for the chains, 
what I normally use is cobble, uh, stone brick stairs for this one because I'm very primitive. So if you have modern Minecraft, then you'll probably do better than me. But there we go. So for the chains themselves, they're 18 long. So you're going to want a row of nine stairs of one direction. So build one, leave a gap two, leave a gap three, leave a gap four, leave a gap five, leave a gap six, leave a gap seven, leave a gap eight, leave a gap nine. So that's nine like that, so that should be nine that way, and then change direction, fill in the gaps in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that should be eighteen in length. Do the same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you got nine facing one way and nine facing the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not very scientific, but It'll do. There's a chain in it. Looks like chain links. If you squint and drink a few couple couple of shots of vodka or something. Anyway, there's the chains done. And then put a black block, bonk, and bonk there. And there we go. There's the chains done. And then two more little vents to go either side of the chains. Uh, go roughly halfway the length of the chains and one out to the side. So this is roughly halfway. Build one out to the side and build one, two, three up. And one, one back like that. Same the other side, one, two, one block out, one, two, three up, and one block like that, and there's your vents. Marvellous. And that's all you need to do um, for the folks, really, detailing wise. We're just going to add a few more blocks uh, for the handrails. So we get our handrails, which are going to be iron bars. I also want anvils as well for the. Uh, for the bollards, so what we're going to do, where the at the front of the ship, where the where the hull goes up two blocks, what we're going to do is put another block just there to create a currently see it just to create a stair going down like so. So same the other side, as you can see, the front of the ship it drops down two blocks. Just put a block next to it so it's less of a drop, and then we can add our handrails. Now, if you're familiar with my builds, you know where I'm going with this one. So we're going to put handrails along the side, like so. But once again, you can see the black that the handrails sit on wood blocks, and that annoys me. So what I'm going to do is underneath where the handrails go over the wood, I shall change those wood blocks to black in the corners, and I shall do this all the way along the length of the ship because that really it's, it's not it's just a cosmetic thing, but it's still annoying. Um, so we just carry along the full length of the forecastle, change all those blocks. Uh, that one there. Didn't realise how long this folks all is. Anyway, there we go, up to the side there, and then we'll just do the handrails, then uh, carry on the handrails all the way along. There we go, there's our handrails done on one side. So what I'll do now is do the same on the other side. I'll change those wood blocks to black. Then I'll add the handrails and then after that we can just add the uh, the yeah, bollards. La, 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 dee, 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 dee. There we go, and then we just add the handrails going around the sides and these handrails are a real pain in the ass to put on as well they're so narrow and thin that clicking on them sometimes ruins the design well not ruins the design but makes it difficult to remove them when the screw up is made but anyway there's the handrails Oop, done on both sides and there we are folks was nearly done one more job to do is to add three pairs of bollards so I'm gonna put the first pair of bollards just to the side well actually just forward of the anchors uh, forward of the chains rather so put a pair of bollards there same the other side there we go and then a bit further down just forward of the breakwater I'll put another pair or well, actually right in the groove of the uh, 
break water, put a pair of ven uh, anvils there. Same the other side. And then a bit further back, just next to the, or just right to the end of the cranes, put another pair just there. So we've got three, by three pairs of ballards each side. And there we go, there's our anvils done. And that is the detailing of the forecastle. Not the most detailed forecastle areas, but it does the job. And uh, that's all I'm going to do for today. So it's a fairly short video in comparison to previous, but uh, we're done. The forecastle's done, the forward mast is on, the funnels are on, and the stern deck house is done. So the ship is very near completion. So I'm going to leave it for part three now. And for part four, when we come back, it will be lifeboats, the stern mast, and all the detailing that goes on the top deck there, which will be skylights and uh, vents and things. And uh, we shall focus on that. So yeah, lifeboats go on as well. So uh, that'll be for part four. So this is Rich finishing part three. And I'm signing off, logging off, disappearing. Gonna go drink myself to death or something. And I shall return in part four. So uh, bye for now.